the registered owner of the car in front of us has uh, looks like an arrest warrant out for him. So we're gonna make a traffic stop and see if he's driving. Hi. Hi. Is this your vehicle? Yeah. Okay, can I take a look at your driver's license, please? Sure. Thank you. All right. You live on Elizabeth still? I do. Okay, where's Jeffrey at? He should be at home. At home? Okay. Yeah. Is he going to be there for a little bit? I think so. I'm going to follow you there because there's some court paperwork needs to get taken care of. Really? Yeah. That's why I stopped you because I thought for you might what? be him. Um, looks like some sort of traffic ticket or something. I'll give you your license back. I'll okay. follow you there. We'll, we'll chat with him really quick. Go from there, okay? So he has a warrant out for his arrest for failing to appear in court on some battery charges. Hey, how's it going? Are you are you Jeffrey? Yeah, what's going on? Okay, I'm Detective Mark Hoyer from the Sheriff's Office. Um, did you have to go to court for some battery charges at some point? No. Really? Really? Okay. Do you have your ID on you? Yeah. Okay, because there's a warrant popping for failure to appear on some some battery charges. Is this a, for a guy named Jeff Hendricks? Yeah. Yeah. There's another guy in town that has the same exact name. Really? Yes. Jeffrey A. Hendricks. Okay. And I know he's gotten into trouble before, and I keep getting uh, mistaken for him. Oh, really? Okay. I and mean, he actually lives, or he used to live, just down Elizabeth here, too. And we live in Elizabeth huh. also. Okay. Yeah, so I've got the photo of the wanted person. It is definitely not this person that lives down the street from him who has the exact same name. In the system, it's very difficult to tell the difference between both of you unless we pull a photograph, which is what I did. Oh, yeah. So if you run into the circumstances of this again, yeah. make sure you let whoever stops you know, like, yeah, this is what's going on. Yeah. Okay. This guy lives on my street. Yeah. He's got the same name as me. My date of birth is listed as an alias date of yeah. birth on the warrant. Huh. And just as long as you just have the, the photograph of the wanted person, you know, emailed to whoever is stopping you, that right. should make it very simple to clear it all up because you're yeah. obviously not the same person. All righty. Any, any, qu any other questions before we go? No. No you, tickets? Are, are you all right? I'm fine. No. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. She was freaking out. Yeah. No, I, I appreciate you guys being <laughs> I appreciate you guys being cooperative with us. Yeah. So very rarely do we have the exact same name of a wanted person on the exact same street a few houses down. Uh, you know, it not something we typically run into, so it's kind of a weird set of circumstances and coincidence. But it all worked out. We figured out who this gentleman was and determined that he wasn't the wanted person.